Sean, thanks very much for, for joining us. Uh, I know you want to clarify uh, what you said, uh, but why did you even make that comparison to Hitler on gas attacks? As you know, six million Jews were killed in the, holo in the Holocaust, many of them with poison gas. Well, thanks for having me, Wolf. I was uh, obviously trying to make a point about the heinous acts that Assad had made against his own people last week using chemical weapons and gas. Uh, and frankly, I mistakenly uh, used an inappropriate and insensitive reference to the Holocaust, for which, frankly, there is no... Uh, there is no, no, no comparison, and for that, I, I apologize. It was a mistake to do that, um, and, uh, and, you know, I appreciate uh, Director Panetta's comments, and, and we'll keep those in mind. So tell us who you're apologizing to right now. There are Holocaust survivors out there uh, who were listening to what you said and couldn't believe a spokesman, the press secretary for the president of the United States, would make such a statement. So just specifically, tell us who you want to apologize to. Well, clearly, uh, you know, anybody who not just uh, suffered in the Holocaust or is a descendant of anybody, but uh, frankly, uh, you know, anyone who was offended by those comments, it's not, as I said, it's, I'm not, you know, in any way standing by them. I was trying to draw a comparison for which there shouldn't have been one. It was insensitive and inappropriate. Uh, so I'm not looking to quantify this in any way. Uh, it was uh, an attempt to talk about that I should have stayed focused on the Assad regime and the dangers that they have brought to their own people and the terrible atrocities they did. And to drag any other comparison into this was not appropriate.